Just when you thought the scariest thing online was a new TikTok dance, these films came along and reminded us that the internet can have a very, very dark side to it. I'm Tilly from What Culture Horror, and these are the 10 scariest internet horror films. Number 10. Chat Room. An English language film directed by Ringu's Hideo Nakata, Chat Room sees a group of five strangers, portrayed by the fabulous cast of Aaron Johnson, Imogen Poots, Daniel Kaluuya, Matthew Beard, and Hannah Murray, meet and forge connections on, you guessed it, a chat room. This entry blends the real and virtual world in an interesting fashion, as each character goes about their solitary lives burdened with their own issues. It's only in the titular chat room, which is presented as a physical hotel room, where they happily interact with other people. However, the chat room's creator, William, played by Johnson, suffers from severe depression and gets pleasure from negatively influencing others. He encourages each of his new online friends' deviant behaviour and begins to convince one of them to take their own life. The situation escalates, leaving it to the rest of the group to stop things before William can succeed. Chatroom may not be as impactful or influential as Nakata's more notable works, but the filmmaker nevertheless projects a sense of unease within his vision of the internet. Wet ghosts aren't killing anyone who enters this chatroom. It's another kind of malicious presence infiltrating this online space. Number 9. Spree Inhabiting the space somewhere between American Psycho and Ingrid Goes West, the riotous comedy horror spree centres on social media-obsessed rideshare driver Kurt, Joe Keery of Stranger Things fame. He's been fruitlessly seeking online stardom for years, while he hopelessly watches someone he used to babysit gain the online following he's been dreaming of. Motivated by jealousy and his own warped sense of self, Kurt decides to start a new online series dubbed The Lesson, in which he murders his rideshare passengers live on camera. His plan, deplorable as it is, seems to be going well at first, and it looks to get even better when he picks up a famous comedian, who possesses the influence to get him the online attention he's been craving. However, chaos soon breaks loose and Kurt's killing spree gets out of control. Kiri is phenomenal in the starring role. Walking the line between deranged narcissist and awkward people pleaser, the actor is easily the best part of the movie. While the satirical comedy is a little too on the nose at times for its own good, spree goes all out on its premise to ensure viewers have a delightful delightfully wild ride nonetheless. Number 8. Tragedy Girls how far would you go to get your 15 minutes of internet fame? For the teen hosts of one true crime podcast, they're willing to kill for that chance in this razor-sharp subversion of the slasher genre. Tragedy Girls follows serial killer obsessed BFF Sadie Cunningham and Michaela Hooper, who share their names with the horror legends behind Friday the 13th and the Texas Chainsaw, respectively. They desperately want to expand their podcast viewership and plan to eliminate the competition in a bloody rampage. They've even kidnapped a notorious killer to use as a scapegoat. There's notes of Scream and Heathers in here that shed a satirical light on the pressures brought on by social media and internet culture within modern society. The air of coolness that the two protagonists bring to this film is only matched by its moody soundtrack and stylishly gruesome kills. The result is a delightfully pulpy mix of angst, gore, and fashion. Though the satirical elements don't cut as deep as the classics it takes its inspiration from, Tragedy Girls has more than enough vibrant personality to attract the attention of horror fans everywhere. Number 7. Unfriended Popularised by the likes of The Blair Witch Project, found footage horror has been a thriving part of horror cinema for decades, giving fans some of the most unique and chilling outings to date. It only makes sense then that this subgenre has evolved to include computer screens with the rise of the internet, a subgenre which has been dubbed screen life. One of the most notable examples of this is the 2014 teen horror Unfriended, which recounts the events of a Skype call between a group of friends that gets hijacked by an angry ghost. It turns out that it's the first anniversary of the death of one of their classmates whose suicide video was shared online. The ghost is understandably unimpressed and is out for revenge. Believing this group to be responsible for their death, the teens are subjected to a night of terrifying games designed to reveal the dark truths as the body count starts to pile up. Though the concept of a horror film on a laptop sounds rather gimmicky, Unfriended manages to make this premise work. There's an uneasy sense of voyeurism about watching events through someone else's screen, however, we can't bring ourselves to look away. Number 6. Ratter in a world where smartphones and social media are an intrinsic part of everyday life, the notion that they can be hijacked by strangers is an unsettling thought, especially when this possibility is very real. This frightening premise is explored in Brandon Kramer's feature debut, Ratta, a feature-length adaptation of the filmmaker's short film, Webcam. Premiering at Slamdance Film Festival in 2015, this film derives its title from malware that allows hackers to access and manipulate devices completely undetected. This is the kind of insidious virus that graduate student Emma, played by Ashley 
Benson falls victim to when she moves to Brooklyn to start a new life. What begins as receiving strange phone calls and messages from the Ratter soon escalates to something more tangible when the perpetrator becomes a physical presence in Emma's life, whether she notices them or not. Like other entries on this list, Ratter is shot as if we were observing Emma through the screens of her devices, but what makes this film stand out is seeing how the hacker moves and manipulates the camera to fulfil their own twisted pleasures. It's majorly unsetting and will make you rush to cover your own webcam immediately after the credits roll. Number 5. Cyberbully the ghosts of the internet don't necessarily have to be literal ghosts. This was the case in thrilling Channel 4 drama Cyberbully. Starring Game of Thrones' Maisie Williams as schoolgirl Casey, this televised special sees the teen's evening descend into a nightmare when her computer is taken over by an anonymous hacker, who threatens to leak sensitive information about her online if she fails to comply with their instructions. Set entirely in Casey's bedroom and unfolding in real time, Cyberbully permeates sensations of claustrophobia and urgency as the night progresses. Casey may be sitting at her computer, but the hacker ensures that she's isolated from everyone around her, including her worried father who frequently tries to check on her. The hacker can see and hear Casey through her webcam and microphone and can talk to her using an electronic voice. The hacker has, in a sense, possessed her computers as if they were a ghost. Moreover, as the interaction intensifies, this one-off drama takes a more sinister direction that's simultaneously frightening and heartbreaking. While the exploration of cyberbullying may be a little on the nose here, its grounded execution gives this entry a chilling sense of believability. Number 4. Cam in Netflix hidden gem Cam, Madeline Brewer of The Handmaid's Tale stars as Cam Girl Alice. Her profile is gaining traction and she's set to become one of the site's most popular performers. She's fully absorbed in her mission to climb as high in the ranks as possible and she'll do anything she can to get her viewers' attention, including faking her own suicide. One day, however, her goal is put to a halt when she discovers that her account has been taken over by someone who looks exactly like her. Desperate to uncover who's behind this, she sets out an investigation to take back control of her profile, which at this point is her entire life and livelihood. As she digs deeper, she realises that the truth is far more insidious than she first believed. She isn't the only one to have been replaced by a double, though the reasoning for this mysterious conspiracy is kept purposefully vague. Written by a real-life former Cam girl, Cam is a biting depiction of the life of a sex worker and a chilling allegory for power and agency within the online world. It's also a film that self-respecting horror lovers shouldn't miss out on. Number 3. The Den Also known as Hacked in the UK, writer-director Zachary Donoghue's feature debut The Den is a viciously frightening and downright disturbing example of the rising screen life genre. The plot follows post-grad student Elizabeth, who proposes to study and record the behaviour of as many strangers as possible on a chat roulette style website for her research project. From pranks to genitalia, she initially sees the sort of content expected from such a site, but events take a turn when she witnesses what she believes to be a murder via webcam. Though everyone around her, including the police, are sceptical, assuring her that it was likely a cruel prank, Elizabeth soon learns that the threat is very real when she's terrorised by an unknown perpetrator. Presented entirely through various screens, laptops, phones and cameras, the den is voyeuristic in nature to an invasive degree. The sense of prevailing threat continuously eats away at Elizabeth until it explodes in a grotesque climax. The bluntness of the violence in this underseen horror is disturbing enough, but it's an ending that shifts Elizabeth's ordeal into a different perspective that will leave audiences with a lasting and haunting impression. Number 2. Host Produced and filmed entirely in lockdown, director and co-writer Rob Savage's Host is the indie horror that grabbed the attention of critics and audiences alike when it landed on Shudder in July 2020. Running at just under an hour long, this is one of the shorter entries on this list. The simple but highly intriguing premise sees a group of friends decide to partake in a seance over a Zoom call. Unfortunately for them though, some don't take the proceedings as seriously as they were warned to. Consequently, the group unwittingly invite a malevolent participant into the call with them. Filming in their own homes and limited in both time and resources, it is a testament to the creativity and talent in how polished this flick is. While the scares on display are nothing we haven't seen in a supernatural horror before, people being dragged backwards and lights turning out for example, they're flawlessly executed and work to heighten an increasingly intense atmosphere. While initially gaining traction for its rather gimmicky concept, Host has managed to earn a seat at the horror table for being an extraordinarily well-crafted, albeit somewhat familiar, outing. Number 1. Pulse. 
Though the likes of Unfriended and Host offer a more contemporary take on the ghostly horrors that permeate the internet, Kiyoshi Kurosawa's Pulse, aka Cairo, remains one of the most chilling and thoughtful examples of an internet horror movie. In this bleak meditation of loneliness and death, spirits have begun to use the internet to infiltrate the world of the living. Anyone who encounters these beings becomes overcome by immeasurable feelings of anguish and hopelessness until they themselves lose the will to live. All that remains of them is a shadowy streak on the wall where they drew their last breath. Unlike the other films on this list, the ghosts in Pulse aren't explicitly evil, although that doesn't mean they're not spine-chillingly creepy when they do appear. Rather, they are infinitely lonely beings, unable to find happiness or meaning with their existence. In Pulse, loneliness spreads like a disease until Tokyo becomes an eerily quiet town where the dead outnumber the living. Carefully placed to ensure the dreary atmosphere seeps under our skin, Kurosawa's film presents a nihilistic and unnervingly accurate portrait of isolation within a world that's supposed to be more connected than ever.